Okay. Having a lot of issues with OBS. Hello everybody, and welcome to the channel. My name's Oscular, and today we're playing SpongeBob SquarePants Bell for Bikini Bottom Second Strike, which is basically hard mode. Eh. Which is basically hard mode. <laughs> For uh, BFBB. Eh, okay, so the gist of things is, as you can see, I played this yesterday, and I did a whole hour session, and I thought I was recording, when in fact I was not, which sucked because I. Wish you guys could have seen my reactions because I actually was interested in the game, but I also had a bunch of raging moments. Welcome. But very interesting mechanics. So it's not just hard mode; it also uh, messes around with the mechanics of the yeah, game. Yeah, Gary. So as you can see, um, there's boss, uh, not bosses, enemies in these areas, right? So. So basically, this is a perfection run. As you can see, there's like bonus spatulas. I don't know what those are, to be honest. But yeah. And then there's also a um, folder that we can look at for hints if we ever get lost. But yeah. Anywho, as you can see, these doors have... I am recording, right? As you can see, these doors have robots on them, as you can see. And as you know, we killed two robots already, so we're able to go through here. So why do I say this is more like a perfection room? Technically, it truly is. And also, certain robots are. Ow. Oh, 
But yeah, basically this has special mechanics where instead of spatulas opening, like shiny objects opening doors, you gotta destroy robots. And yeah, as you can see, since I destroyed this robot, I get a sock. Now, socks are sometimes in their usual spots, but sometimes they're hidden behind enemies where you have to take out the enemies in order to get a sock or a golden spatula. And, uh, as, a, as I'll show you, right in here, there's a robot, right? No spatula until you do that and take them out. Now, you see, I won't be saving this playthrough right here because. The reason behind that is, we are going to continue off the profile that I made, that I didn't record off of, and we'll just make this like part one, and then we'll continue off the old profile. Ah, there's nothing. And then out here is a total mess. Watch. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, whoops. Oh, watch this. Alright, I get this. Look how fast it goes. And it disappears already. And then Golden Underwear is there. Socks. I mean, you didn't go for Squidward's house, which I think you need to take out that, um, that, I can't think of the name right now. The Duplatron, uh, 3000 up there. I think you have to destroy that in order to get the golden spatula for Squidward's house. in Squidward's house. Do not destroy anything while I'm gone. Squidward, right? So, if you don't know BFDB, in the original game, if you destroyed everything, you get a sock that spawns right here. Well, watch what happens when I destroy this painting. Thank <laughs> you. 
play this in the first playthrough but as I mentioned this is a challenging mod I was told that this would be challenging and I was told that it would have been fun too it's a fun challenging mod I can see that uh, I never entered Patrick's house so this is my first time seeing this so Just a survival? What, what's going on here? I hate these robots. Patrick's house, and might as well just keep this playthrough as if it was just a whole new thing. So uh, forget what I said earlier. Basically, this is very interesting. Ow. Oh yeah, you see this guy in the middle of the ocean, right? And you might be like, oh, nice kill with our robot. Well, guys, we all know what I been through with that guy. Oh, great, 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 great. Watch out for 
Because he's gonna terrorize us for most of the this weekend. And oh, that's not all. Oh no 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 no. Watch this. Right? Next section. Boom, these guys. on that thing. Oh well. Do you even notice me? That's one thing I did notice with the robots. Their AI is a bit goofy in this mod. Like, let me show you. I think I still have a screenshot. Basically, I was, um, right by, you see, I don't know names of the enemies that well, at all. I don't even know that name of the enemies in, um, in, uh, what's it called? In the movie, even by them, I 
basic. I don't know much stuff. Except for the items that I... that literally screwed me. Oh yeah, I noticed this cutscene was a bit glitched. I don't know what happened because I see the... I see him over there in the background. Yeah, he's right there, but... Yeah, for some reason it's a bit glitched. But yeah, I hate these guy little guys right there. That just hurt me. But yeah, basically, um... In my original thumbnail idea, before I noticed that... Uh, my footage saved. The guy was on a watermelon, and he was very, uh... Very... Um... Very friendly. I was trying to look for the right word, but he was friendly, very friendly, and I was like, oh wow. So basically, I just took a picture of him and was gonna use that for the phone now. However, as everyone knows, that didn't come to me. Oh god, I forgot about this section. Oh god, I hate myself. Ah! I don't know how many guys there are. Look at this. One, two. There's a Norwood back there that doesn't see me. There's a, two more up there that don't see me. Jesus. 
Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your. Oh, you should see this section. This section's an absolute nightmare. Look at this. Right? Those guys? You're able to kill them. It's just very difficult. Yeah, like that. Sock will spawn on the pistol, if I remember. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything special that you want from defeating those three. Because I didn't defeat them originally, so... Basically, I don't know who the Kapod creator is. I have to look it up, but... Uh, in the first playthrough, it was like, I kept saying, um... Oh, uh... What did, what did I say? I said, like, oh, curse you, and, you know, it's like, when I know your name, I'm gonna say it a bunch of times, just to let you know my frustration. <laughs> Or something like that. I don't really even remember. Not Anything? 
nothing, nothing happens. Okay. Um, I'm gonna die if I go for that guy, so... Oh, this jellyfish is gonna kill me. Oh, also, when this cut cutscene initiated, one of the guys, uh, shot me and spat me into the water. So I just basically died as the cutscene was playing. One of the most funniest things ever, to be honest. playthrough I kept getting um, these issues where it just like, had frames like that. To get, have to get ready for this next part. Hold on. Oh, oh, you wanna, you wanna talk about that again, pal? Huh? How did you not get killed? Okay, hold on. Before I start getting killed again. take out these guys in order to progress on. And that's the reason why I took out the rest of the enemies before doing this. In the first playthrough, 
I suffered. And basically it was like, no, I'm not killing everybody. I'm just gonna do this without killing everyone. And that was torturous. So to learn from my mistakes, I decided to make this better. Come towards me. Come on. There we go. Let's go. There we go. Hey, Spud. I'm gonna go back for that uh, rocket person. Also, these guys are a bit glitchy with the marble, as you can see. Okay, the reason why I'm switching to Spongebob is because I want to go back for that bubble person. I hate myself. <laughs> How can I not remember um, the enemies in this game? Like seriously, how can I not remember the enemies in this game? Yeah, I played it so many times, and it was my childhood game. Like, what the heck? Since it doesn't matter to kill these guys, we're just gonna... The goal is we don't want to, um, come on, man. How can this be so stressful? I don't want to go back for 100% because I actually did super well on getting that originally.
my head is like, use the cheat code to unlock all moves. And I'm like, no, I can't. That's cheating. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Well, technically, there's Chico to unlock Cruise Bubble, and, um... Oh my god, can I not get up there? As I hit it, I just get damage. Oh my god. I guess it wouldn't be as bad as if I get damage and stuff. But the thing is, I get damage and then I get knocked back to the century of the year. Screw it, we'll go back later. I don't care. Why can't... I have recorded. I really don't like OBS from time to time. Like, OBS doesn't really notify you of stuff. Like, it doesn't notify you, oh, you're not recording. Because of storage. Or, oh, you're not recording. Because you press a hotkey. Get out of here. Stop showing my watermelon. What? I need one more hit. Oh god.
automatically only a defeat. Basically, yeah, it seems like this one's glitched. Actually, that's a better thumbnail. <laughs> Just him as a hat. <laughs> that person. In the first one too, I the first playthrough, I kept trying to hit that guy, but I always oh, missed. Good, good.
really? Okay, I was like, seriously? I should have hit you. Okay, oh, it stops us. spawns in out of nowhere. I'm trying to get this out. As you know, yesterday Ahoy there. was Squidward Tuesday, and I want to upload a video today at 11, you know, my usual time and everything. But, of course, everything's gotta be screwy with this, and, yeah. But thankfully, despite me staying up till 2 in the morning, I was like, you know what, I'm up at si I was up at 6, and I was like, you know what, I might as well just do this and get this done. Because I really wanted you guys to see this video, and I know how much of you would like to see this. I don't really have much people responding in the server, I mean, not server, uh, surveys. 
but I still appreciate you all. Now this part. Oh boy, this part. Watch. Destroying one of these will summon in the fucker guy. So what we gotta do is, once we take one out... Here, pal. Wait, right here. I got a special gift for you. Come with me. Hey! Oh, look what I got you. Die! Okay, so they don't give you anything. Gotcha. In the first playthrough, I left one of them alive. Of course, there was one near the spatula, just to make it even more difficult. But apparently killing them all don't get you it, anything. How nice. We're gonna stay as Patrick in the Originally, I was a uh, Spongebob for this part. But we're just gonna become Patrick. Yeah. 
I just thought about the bosses. Oh my god, if they... I swear to god, if they bring in my least favorite enemy back in the industrial park, I am gonna scream. I just thought about that. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go to the police station and figure out what these names are so everyone knows what I'm talking about. But basically I'm talking about the one that shoots rockets. Also, I didn't know some tiki's are gone, which is the weirdest thing.
sure I could ground slap him. I think that's what I did in part one. Screw you. Okay. Uh, forget what I said. I'm sorry. <laughs> now it's for real. Um, that reminds me of Hydrated. When I first played the game, I got knocked back right into the spatula by one of those guys, and basically I was invisible to every robot. It was weird. Like, they know I was there, but their AI was broken, because I think they still thought I was in the spatula state or something. But yeah, look at this crap! Look at this! Look what they did to this! Okay. 
And sorry, that was a dumb play on my part. so I had to kill him. But yeah, I did not know you could do that. I did not know you could go down here and basically wait for him to do his charge attack. I always thought you just had to, you know, jump in and avoid his attack and stay on the battlefield, otherwise he would reset. Apparently that's not the case. Good to know. Good to know. I am dead. I am dead, yes sir, I am gonna die. I gotta go back for that sock. How did you know there was a sock there? It's like you played this uh, first time. Don't kill me. <laughs> Please don't. I don't want to die. That's it. I think we're gonna be done for now. Oh my god. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe I was not recording for the first playthrough. Well, but well guys, I redid it and I found some new things. And I can't get some old things. But in the end, we got done for you. 
you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate you all. And we are almost at 400 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. 400 subscribers is a dream. But a thousand would be amazing if I could ever reach it. Even a hundred thousand, but I don't expect to reach a hundred thousand anytime soon. With that said, though, I will try to continue this playthrough. Even though it's pro in the first playthrough, I'm gonna say it again. It's probably gonna be my longest episodic epi uh, series ever, to be honest. Just because of how difficult it is and how much stuff there is in this game. With that said, though, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!